Hey friends, Paul here. For today's book review, we're checking out The Little Foresters, a story of field and woods by Clarence Hawks, author of Master Frisky. And this is from 1903. And specifically, I'm going to be talking about the wonderful illustrations by Charles Copeland, who lived from 1858 to 1945. Copeland was born in Thomaston, Maine, and his career was based in Boston, and Clarence Hawks was based in Hadley, Massachusetts, in the Berkshires. And an interesting thing about Clarence Hawks is that he had no easy life. He had a leg amputated um, when he was young, and he soon became blind and went to a blind school where he befriended Helen Keller. Pretty impressive um, life, and he was a very prolific author of children's books. And Charles Copeland was renowned for his illustrations of such children's books. A lot of action in these drawings. Here's Bob, our rabbit. Bob sprang from point to point. And check out the hawk. Caw, caw, cried Nimrod. I guess Nimrod would be the crow above Chucky in the field. Really, really, look at, what a delightful painting. See the daisies and the split rail fence in the background. And it's so nice, pastoral. Oh man, I love this painting here. Chucky reared cautiously upon his hind legs. You can see the signature of Charles Copeland down there. And look at Chucky, the groundhog. The wonderful stone wall with the perspective curving upwards towards the viewer and the carriage house in the background and the stately um, maple, perhaps, or elm trees lining the road. Cock Robin and Brownie fought bravely. These two birds going at it. What delightful action in this exciting children's book. Oh, look at the squirrels at play. Frisk and Frolic is the title of this one. One of my favorites in the book. Such mastery of New England themes of Stonewall and nature. What a cute little house it was as the squirrel is going in to get some corn. The quail is a merry fellow. Split rail fence. Look at the shadows around the fence with the lighting. And the quail perched. Very, very nice. The nice trees in the background. Again, the contrast of those deep darks going lighter up towards the um, upward leaves. I don't know if you can faintly see the clouds there. The partridge broke away and whirred over the treetops, pursued by the fox. Look at that. Copeland just has such a nice way with the action of the animals. You know, being a Mainer and a woodsman, he well knew the animation and dramatic life cycle of the animal kingdom. This is a really nice one of a bunny. He would sit for an hour at a time on an old log and look at the cute bunny rabbit perched ever so peacefully on a resting log with the shrubbery and summer greenery abounding and cool shade as the rabbit takes a much needed respite. He clutched the bars fiercely with his claws. Ooh, that to me looks like a snowy owl. Check out those rugged feet there. That owl is not happy to have his freedom squelched and squashed in the cage. What wonderful illustrations from Little Forest by Clarence Hawks, illustrated by Charles Copeland. Again, Copeland lived from 1858 to 1945. Have you guys discovered any cool illustrators from the past that you enjoy? Please feel free to post links and your comments below. And thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.